Okay, I want to show you two things that can go wrong when you're preparing elevation data. Um, the first thing is that you create a hill shade from uh, raster that's in a geographic coordinate system. Um, typically, you won't have a Z value defined and um, Arc Pro prompts you that it's going to assign a default value of one. And for whatever reason, we get this very oily, um, intense, very dark looking hillshade. This is the exact same area, same scale and extent with a properly created hillshade, one in which we are working from a projected elevation model um, with defined Z values or the default value of one works with the units of meters. Um, yeah, I suspect what's happening here is that the Z is being set to one degree, um, and so you get some kind of crazy exaggeration like this. Um, you can see here this kind of flat plateau surface is just completely obscured, um, but the same little round feature is visible here. So in order to not have this happen to you, you, can't, you just have to get rid of that hill shade. There's no way to fix it. Um, and you have to project the DEM. Um, when you run the project raster tool in Arc Pro, the default setting is for nearest neighbor for the resampling. If I can get a little cooperation here. Project raster. Okay, so to project the raster, you do a resample from the... Um, cell values that are defined in degrees to, um, I should say, resolution to a resolution that's planar. Um, the resampling technique defaults to nearest neighbor because this does less damage to um, apply this to continuous data than applying bilinear to categorical data would do. Um, but if you have questions about this, I have a whole separate video that walks through resampling techniques, how they work, and um, what the different types are. But if you click on the eye here, they go so far as to tell you this is optional, and that's not really true. Um, when, you're, when you're resampling continuous data, you should change this to either bilinear or cubic convolution. I tend to use bilinear. Um, it does create smoothing where cubic convolution fits a curve to the nearest 16 uh, cell centers, and the fitted curve can sometimes extend beyond the min and max of your original data set. So I stick with bilinear for most of the things I'm doing, um, but there you go. Nearest neighbor is gonna create a bunch of artificial stripes, and I'm gonna show you what that looks like. It's this stuff here. So look, you can see kind of um, vertical stripes and then these diagonal stripes across here. And if I, um, if I turn on a hill shade that was created correctly and use the swipe tool. Just kind of look at the horizontal, or sorry, the vertical striping and then those diagonal stripes as well. These are real uh, artifacts in the elevation data and can cause um, surface tools like flow, flow accumulation to actually be rerouted. Um, it is creating a little ridge. Uh, that's because nearest neighbor is pulling um, the nearest cell value and just copying it and can produce those kind of artificial, artificially hard surfaces. So again, the only way to fix that is to go back to the geographic um, elevation model, run project raster again, but choose the correct resampling technique and then recalculate your hillshade.